Now let's get on with some of the other stuff that we wanted to look at here. Uh, the other tool was the traffic estimator. So let's go to the traffic estimator. Traffic estimator, we're going to type in a particular keyboard phrase. We're going to say, let's do golf balls. And I'm going to do all locations English. Now, estimated average estimated cost per click is $1.13 to $1.66. If I paid $1.13, I would get roughly $274. If I paid $1.66, I would get about 342 clicks. $1.66 is probably the high end of this. Um, estimated total cost. Messes would be a daily cost because I'd have that many clicks, 342 at $1.66 would cost me $569. If I wanted to dominate the number one position for a full day and I did get the total estimated clicks of 342, it would cost me $569. This is going to help you understand um, how many people are searching for this, what it's going to cost you to rank for this. Um, I like these figures a bit more here than I do when it tells you this average cost per click down in here. This is a little bit a little bit flaky so I do like going in here when you start finding the keywords you're more interested in this is where I really want to focus my data and so basically that's really what that is all about um, I could also say you know um, let's say here and this, uh, this case a buck 40 would get me position about 1.32 so obviously a buck 66 get me position number one um, these guys are saying 308 clicks at a buck 40 so I could probably get to 342 by going to $1.66. Let's see how this how this changes things. Say I'm only going to be paying $1. And my daily budget is, I don't need a daily budget because it's pretty obvious what it's going to be. If I'm willing to pay a dollar and I get 100 clicks, it's going to cost me 100 bucks. So um, when I changed it to $1, instead of $1.66, I get my estimated average uh, clicks drops down to about 239. So I can start maybe saying, well, maybe I can't really afford to pay for number one, but maybe I can pay for number two. Bucks is six is too much, but I can break even at a dollar. Well, that might be a useful tool for you to, you know, do a little bit of experimentation and find out what's going on there. And then finally, the placement tool. And I want to thank you for bearing with me this long. I know this is a lengthy video, but I think all these things need to be talked about to really explain this tool. Uh, placement. If you're going to be using the Google Display Network, you need to... Oops, I got Google in the brain. Golf balls. What this is, is going to tell you what, ad, what, what websites are participating in the Google AdWords, or sorry, the Google AdSense. That's when your ads show up on other people's websites. And so we can see here, GolfReview.com is a very big website. When you're doing the display network, you don't want to just turn it on for every single site. You want to hand pick or cherry pick some of those sites. So CNN, for example, would be one. There, um, you can get golf advertising on there if you wanted to. Golf Review would probably be a good one because you know a lot of the searchers that go into Golf Review are probably very much into golf. For CNN visitors, eh, it's probably not going to convert as well. Uh, we can see some information about the site profile. You, I'm not going to explain that in this video, but you click on here, it'll give you some a bit of statistics on the site you're dealing with. And then here's the type of ads you can do. Text ads can appear anywhere on this site. And then you can go through all of these little mouse over things here, and this will tell you all the different stuff. Does it support video? Does it support picture ads, text ads, video ads? And you can even filter it by placement types. I only want people that allow me to advertise on their site with video and are mobile. And then I could really start narrowing this down. These are the sites you can look at for the display network, give you an idea of how much traffic they get, and then you can go through all these options in here to help you understand who you're going to be bidding for on AdWords. I'm going to do some AdWords videos in the future. Right now I don't have any, but uh, I will be making some, and so if you're an experienced AdWords user, you will know what this means. If you don't understand what all this data means, don't worry about it. You can worry about when you get to the AdWords point. So that is pretty much uh, this, that's the end of, the, of this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please a thumbs up, leave me a comment, ask any questions that you might have. Uh, if you want to do yourself a favor, subscribe to my channel, that way you, you'll be informed when I release new videos. And uh, I, again, I really hope you enjoy this. I just do this to basically really just help people, and as you can see by my websites, I'm not really trying to sell anything. So um, again, if you enjoyed this, uh, show me your support, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and, uh, and if you have any questions, leave me some questions. I've made a few custom videos as well where I answer people's questions that they leave in the comments. So, um, again, thanks for coming by. Have yourself a great day. Take care.